be on YouTube to um, describe what I feel um, are our basic needs in a relationship um, that everyone needs, that I see myself needing, that I see friends needing, etc., etc. Uh, the first of which is uh, open and honesty. Um, you should be able to completely open up to this person, uh, someone that you're seeing, someone you see a long-term relationship with, be able to basically have uh, a total sense of humility with them. Um, open up, tell them, tell them about your past if you want to, like if you feel up to it, tell them basically anything about you. And um, they should be very accepting of this. They should, they should understand where you come from I mean, if it's something that you've changed in your life, they should understand that you've made the choice to change for the better, to improve yourself. Um, people's past are their past for a reason. Uh, you have a past to, to basically learn everything you'll need later on in life. Um, I myself have had my own screw-ups, so you learn from them. It's life, right? You get past them, you, you get over it, you move forward, you learn. Big learning thing. So, um, as far as that, um, you also want to have integrity because um, however they are around you, you want them to be the very same when they're not around. You want to know that that they're completely open with you. They're telling you everything that, that's honest. They don't hide anything. You're not hiding anything in reverse. Like everything I'm saying has to be, it's a two-way street, so you both got to have it going on. Um, so open, honest, sense of integrity, sense of humility. Um, sense of humility is, um, Knowing that you've, if you've done something wrong, if you've done something right, you just, you know, you're not going to hide anything. You're willing to share it with them because this is the person that uh, you plan on spending a very long time with, right? So you don't exactly want to be hiding anything, and vice versa, as I said. So that's the first one. Next up is uh, compromise. Compromise is the, probably the hardest thing, especially with, um, if. People haven't been in a relationship for some time, um, or if they're used to relationships being certain ways. Um, every relationship is different. Um, sometimes there's a leader in the two. Sometimes it's it's a team, and it should always be a team. Um, no one should make uh, firm, concrete decisions in a relationship without consulting the other person. That's basically my belief, and I think that's what uh, all relationships need in order to work properly. Um, in the sense of compromise, there should be understanding. Um, you should try and always see it from both sides, um, from both your benefit, from the other person's benefit, from, from even the outside and looking on both of you. Um, sometimes this requires a third party to just kind of like look at it, because um, you may be butting some heads. But um, those are some big steps right there. Um, in uh, communication, you should, uh, you should always be a great listener, be willing to share anything, any open thoughts, um, be able to give good neutral advice if, uh, if your partner comes to you with problems. Um, you should never have self-centered advice, um, advise them in ways that will only benefit you. You should always be looking out for their best interest in regards to you, instead of your own. Um, they should be the number one, not yourself. You should look out for yourself, but uh, you should look out for them just a little bit more, right? In essence, you guys should be taking care of each other. Um, when opening up to each other, um, you should be non-judgmental. Um, someone's coming to you, they're confiding in you, um, telling you stuff that they might not open up to anybody else anywhere um, because you're that special person. You're the one that they feel safe with. You're the one that they, they know that um, nothing can hurt them because you're their rock, right? You should never judge. Like, try your very best not to judge. I mean, if you have to, hold it into yourself, I mean, try and decide a way to approach it in a way that um, cannot come out as being hurtful. Um, you just want to make sure that they know that you are there for them, you're not there for, for your own agenda, per se. So that's my little spiel on that part. Some things that I've gone through is um, belief systems um, with the person, the people who I've been with. Um, each of them has had a different belief system, religiously, relationship-wise. Um, this is a, a huge item as well. Um, you always want to make sure that you're on the same page. Um, you can be two very different people, um, but you, as long as you come together right and um, you find a, a happy medium. Um, religious beliefs, 
it's a it's a touchy thing. I mean, a lot of people have varying beliefs. I myself has, have gone through a few different phases and finally found what what I believe is is what I need and what's true. Um, so um, you got to keep an open mind going through all this kind of stuff. Um, no one walks around with a big profile on their on their shirt or over their head saying, "Hey, this is who I am." Like you have to you have to learn through communication. You have to talk. You have to decide what what's right for the both of you. If if you two are right for each other, um, if you two have needs that uh, the other person can feel can fill, and um, and if if you see things that that could generally work out into something bigger than it already is, so definitely something good. You need a sense of humor. Huh. You definitely need a sense of humor. Uh, you both have to have a, a strong foundation on um, having fun together. You gotta enjoy each moment that you spend with each other. You gotta be excited to see each other. I mean, if you see the, the person walking to you from a distance, you don't just walk up all slowly. I mean, geez, you, you're excited. You run up to them, you grab them, and you shake them in the air, and you're like, wow, like you're the greatest thing ever. That's that's the excitement part of it. I mean, you gotta make it fun. You gotta have a sense of humor together. You gotta laugh. You gotta joke. Um, so it makes things great, you know? Like, fun. Who doesn't wanna have fun? I wanna have fun. Do you wanna have fun? Definitely, I know you do. So, you gotta have fun. You gotta have a sense of humor, definitely. And now onto my favorite part, the love factor. Um, you gotta love each other unconditionally. Um, there's got to be a lot of compassion in the relationship. If one of you are down, the other person should be there. They should be there finding out what your needs are, how they can help, what they can they can do to help rectify or fix any situation. Be there to comfort you, a hug, a kiss, like a compliment, anything like that. Um, that would show great compassion on their part um, to be there for you. Because that's what it is. Like You guys are there for each other. You guys are supposed to be like a team, supposed to back each other up no matter what. You want someone who's gonna be caring, who's uh, who's definitely gonna look out for you. Uh, if they see that you need something, they'll do their best to try and get that for you. And don't forget, you gotta do that too. So it's not just a get from them and you don't give them in return, you know what I'm saying? Um, you want someone who's selfless. It's okay to be selfish to, to benefit yourself, but not if it takes away from somebody else. You wanna be selfless and help others. Um, that's a great quality to, to look for. Um, Everybody has it in them, it's just a matter of uh, how often they exercise it. And uh, you want someone who's very loving. I mean, well, we're all different, I mean, but having someone who, who definitely shows how much they care about you will always put a smile on your face. I mean, basically, look at this situation. Would you want to to come home greeted with someone open arms, smiling, and telling them that they love you? Or come home to uh, someone hiding in a corner, yelling, go away, right? Like, uh, it's simple stuff. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the basics that I feel are, are needed in a relationship. Uh, if there's anything that you feel that's missing, feel free to add a comment or however you want to do it. All right, you have a good one. Take care. Bye. No matter what you say about love, I keep coming back for more.